Geico presents Yikes, another voicemail from your roommate. Sup, roomie? Hey, a pipe burst in the basement. It's completely flooded. Anyway, I called for someone to fix it, but in the meantime, I was thinking we could finally have that indoor pool party we've always wanted. I got some cool swan floaty things already going. Could you pick up some chips on your way home? Later. The GEICO Insurance Agency could help keep your personal property protected. Like if your roommate isn't the brightest pool float in the flooded basement. Visit GEICO.com to see how easy it is to switch and save on renter's insurance. Go. Oh, man. Well, I'm excited. All right. You're excited? Why not? I'm this is so a, excited. This is all exciting. I'm right. here. You're right. here, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, the yeah, gang's yeah. all here. You're that guy. Come on, let's all sing it. Hell, hell, the, the gang's, gang's all, all here. here. What the heck do we... Come on, sing it, Mateo. I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> they gave him stage fright. <laughs> Mateo, you, you, what, what, you, you drunk there? No, I'm drunk. I just know my song. What song is that? This, he's not drunk. He's drinking Coors Light. <laughs> Come on. What song is that? It's Hail the, the, the Gang is All Here. From by who? It's an old-fashioned song there. Okay, it's a public when, domain when, when, song. When, when everyone's around, what every- a collision of two cultures in the world! Oh, God. <laughs> Old school Italian, new school Italian. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. You guys should get along, though. <laughs> it's like we only eat gluten free pizza. Yeah. No, I, I hate that stuff. Nasty. There you go, Mateo. Now you're coming around. Uh, yeah. Now you're coming around. That's right. You don't like that. Well, game. I'm not trusting who. I'm not trusting. Yeah, never mind. You're, you're not John Fox. Yeah, who's he's the one with that pizza wagon, right? Who's that? J- who's that? Pizza oh, wagon? John. Fox. Yeah. Oh, oh pizza wagon. Yeah. I mentioned that guy's name on this show. Yeah. Uh, you just hear, did. I fucks with you him. You want to hear some monologue? That's my joke? board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. You want to hear some good monologue? Yeah, yeah. I want to hear some jokes. You're excited? So, tell us, Jay Leno. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. This is this is the this is gonna be good. It's gonna get me somewhere. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. A a Japanese man died on a plane after ingesting 246 bags of cocaine with the, uh, Mateo. Mm-hmm. You hear this? Cocaine Mateo. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just noticed some cocaine, cocaine Mateo. You have that, you have that like, cocaine Mateo? Anyone want to smoke some cocaine? That's co- some good the shit, The sworn man. enemy of turd Mateo. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine Mateo. <laughs> Mateo, 246 bags of cocaine he ingested, right? Yeah. Okay, that's weird, right? What's even weirder is now Joey Chestnut has to swallow twice as much as that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right on, man. Because he's Japanese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lamar Odom says he slept with six women per week. You hear this, Mateo? That's that, and he said he has uh, paid for plenty abortions. Yeah, who knew Lamar Odom was that good of an inside shooter? <laughs> it's a good basketball joke. It's a great basketball joke. <laughs> I don't know sports ball. Hmm. Mateo, you That's hear about stupid. this? Did you hear about this? Marilyn Monroe. Um, I think so. <laughs> is she dead? <laughs> she was Don't murdered. tell me she's dead. She's I she can't was, handle it if she's dead. People say she was murdered. Uh, the CIA says uh, she was killed. Because oh, she had, God. She had information on Roswell aliens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who knew the Kennedys were from Roswell? I don't like, I don't like that joke. <laughs> it's a great joke. I don't like that joke at all. Apparently, uh, Americans have pr- been pronouncing Rihanna wrong. You hear about this, Mateo? We've been pr- pr- how do you pronounce Rihanna? Rihanna? Right. Right, we, we, we've all been pronouncing it wrong. It's not pronounced Rihanna; it's pronounced Smelly Cunt. I thought it was Talentless Whore. She's really hot. <laughs> she is really hot. I don't think so. You really? don't think she's attractive? Think she's hot? I think the craziest. You she's must be. You're, you're, you're fucking gay, dude. Yeah, that's, yeah Rihanna's, Rihanna's hot. That's she's so, so yeah, hot. Rihanna's yeah. Yeah. hot. And okay. Okay. No, hold on a second. Hold oh, on. Yeah, hold yeah, on. on. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Hold on. We need to address. Yeah. Beyonce is a tall fucking bitch. Uh, not to mention Beyonce. Beyonce she, looks like a deadlifter. Like I don't know if you've yeah. known it. No, I don't know about that. Uh, Beyonce, yeah, not I think Beyonce. I, I never liked to be. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I was never a fan of Beyonce. Yeah. I thought she was overrated from the get go. Rihanna is hot. I think. I think she's I, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw Beyonce in one of those strongman competitions on ESPN. That's yeah, right. she she lifted up Jay Z's <laughs> whole career. That's what she did. <laughs> <laughs> It's like she was. She was just it's like when uh when they're I think when well, they have twins or they they when they when yeah, they, when their kids their kids are born it's like like she, she was like while she was giving birth she was security like they blocked off the that entire wing of the hospital she was, that makes sense she was, that doesn't make any sense that doesn't make any sense she was giving birth why would she be a security guard 
Because she don't want anyone near her Because there was a concert kids. going on during the birth. She doesn't waste a moment, Beyonce. Imagine if you were... She's a publicity tri- machine. Triple threat. She was, she was working... Secu- she was working the, the moment the, the baby she was, was born, she was promoted to backup dancer. Like, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> She's a fucking bitch, huh? <laughs> Back to my life. Back to my life. Oh, you'll like this one, Mateo. Uh, a uh, Indiana prep school gave a 11-year-old boy with autism... Uh, most annoying male award, mm. right? His boy, name was Mateo Pasquale. The boy's parents complained, and they said, how can you give this boy with autism an award? Mm. The school said, autism? I thought he was just Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just Jewish. Yeah, no, no, I no, love no. that you did the Nate Alexander lean and I, bro. Like, he was Jewish. <laughs> didn't we do that as a bit on this podcast? Yeah, we did, yeah, 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 Jewish? Yeah. Autistic or Jewish. The other day, I, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I spelled... Um, I spelled ducking into my phone, but it all auto correct to fucking. Now my middleman thinks I'm fucking my bookie. Yeah. What is that? What? I, I don't Why do you have a bookie? People do gambling <laughs> online now. What is it? He's gambling, he's gambling on school. He's gambling on those jokes. <laughs> 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 do you know if, if you um if you beat if you beat up Beyonce's children, it's called Destiny's Child Abuse. <laughs> 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 There's your monologue right there. <laughs> I got two more. Go for it. Oh god. Uh, Miley Cyrus, uh, Mateo, do you know who Miley Cyrus My, yeah. Miley Cyrus <laughs> posed uh, topless to raise money for Planned Parenthood. Oh, this is mm-hmm. Have you heard this, Mateo? No. Yeah, uh, that, that should show them. Uh, seriously, though, Miley Cyrus, uh, she was credited with uh, raising $350. That three hundred fifty dollars came from Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> I saw those photos. It's more like Plan B cup. <laughs> I actually saw those photos, and Peta immediately sued her for animal abuse. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you why are you mistreating those chicken cutlets? Have you What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, she is. Yeah. She uh, looks like. You a, ever go to a butcher yeah. shop and you see the the full chicken hanging? Yeah, <laughs> that's what she looks like. like. like, 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 like a rotisserie uh, chicken. It was like ducks hanging out in like in Chinatown. Yeah. Well, like a fucking ventriloquist doll on a noose. Why'd you have to take it there? I don't know. Not it's too the far, noose, man. The too far. Like like a do. Voodoo doll. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got one more. Uh, she used, to be, kill, so, yeah, she used yeah. to be so hot. I got, one, I got one more, Mateo. Let's do it. You That's ready for this? Sticky. DJ Khalid, are you a fan? Somewhat. Oh, you know, he's all right. DJ Khalid. DJ Khalid's uh, new album debuted in number, at number two. All right? Right. And he threw a big temper tantrum. But the most alarming thing, who knew that DJ Kali could count the two? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Who that's knew good. he could count the two? Yeah, that's good. I like that. I like that. Yeah. You know he can't read, walking. right? No, he really can't read. He does he, not know how to read. Uh, that doesn't talking. surprise yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, uh, Convict music. Right? How, was that, how was that monologue? <laughs> yeah, fucking... Gr- Hey, uh, hey, out there, if you're driving, st- uh, just be careful. <laughs> I already sent the tape to uh, Colbert. I think. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Out of the way, me, Alexander. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I bet you that's a better monologue than whatever fucking Jimmy Kimmel said last night. Right? Come on, yeah, okay. cry, baby. What's with him? He's he cries crying. like every week about he's, something, doesn't no, he? Like, he's he's brought to tears. Yeah. He's like, oh my god, my kid almost fucking died. So your kid almost died, Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Fuck your wife and make another one. For some reason, I was thinking Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, because uh, they both named Jimmy. Miley Cyrus. I, I, how would you even make that Jimmy, connection? I got, I got, I got a quick monologue. Miley Cyrus recently posted those uh, those photos of her to raise awareness for for Plan B, and uh, Caitlyn Jenner immediately said that was my Plan A from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good oh, there. <laughs> now we're done. Now we're done. Now we're done. <laughs> yeah. So. Um... Yeah. So what's going with you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. I got this. Hang on. I got. I got. I, I, I'm. I'm prepared. You got somewhere else. <laughs> I know this is, I'm drinking Sam Adams Porch Rocker. Oh, okay. Porch what? Oh. <laughs> porch Rocker. I, 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 up, okay. not, not I like uh, my, my not favorite. Cocker, like no, 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 no. My, fa- my favorite uh, summer brand is uh, is uh, Colt 45 Porch Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> is this, the, this, is, this, is the, this is the John Wayne Gacy brand. This is the, the episode year. we get kids. <laughs> Episodes in a row. Oh no! And this is not, I can't. That was just. I'm just making fun, having a good time. <laughs> Go 45. Oh. Mateo, hit us with a monologue. Oh, a monologue. Generals, exactly. I'm trying to think in my head. No, no, we don't want to hear those. No, about no, I can no. hear the rattling now. He was telling me a joke he was writing about before I, I immediately went to sleep. Oh. Yeah. I don't no, have I don't want to hear it. Okay. No, go on. Nobody wants to. That, that's right. I don't have it written, but the premise is like the jackass crew give idiots impulse. <laughs> 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 
Oh, uh, everyone's up? Okay. <laughs> Who's proofreading these jokes for you? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Johnny Cap like was editing your, your jokes. Do you like your jokes with a crayon? <laughs> Do you write your, watch your wipe your ass, though. <laughs> Put a Ralph for me, my friend. <laughs> we like to have fun here. We have more jokes. We have more. Wait, what are you oh God, we're only nine oh, minutes in. Uh, we already. What's he doing? I'm looking at my jokes, the new ones. Oh, no, Jesus. I don't want to hear <laughs> <it>. my jokes. <laughs> I'm not my jokes. Bad enough, I gotta sit them in open mics every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> two, two minutes. Of... <laughs> I enjoy Mateo. Yeah, Mateo, anytime you make an involuntary noise, just turn around to the person next to me. Like, oh, you surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is that? <laughs> oh, that will oh, be. Here's, here's, here's a good okay. one. Here's a good one. It's new. Uh, sure. Go on. we'll um, the day I have a girlfriend, I'm going to call her vagina, the Gaza Strip, because I'm going to think of going into control of the situation, but in reality, make a whole fucking mess of things. All right. Let that's, me reread that. That's, right. Yeah, hold on. I, I just want to, <laughs> I want to pitch Mateo a, char- a stand-up character that you should do. <laughs> you should be um, Toretta Scott King. <laughs> <laughs> and you have Tourette's Syndrome. Okay. The day I have a girlfriend, I'm going to call her Virgi- Virginia, the Gaza Strip. Vagina. Vagina, wow. Gotta be clear. <laughs> you spell, misspell vagina. I think Johnny Caps did proofread this. <laughs> the day I have a girlfriend, I'm going to call her vagina, the Gaza Strip. Because I'm thinking I'm going to control the situation, but in reality, I'm just going to make a mess of things. She sounds hot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you writing these for George Bush's monologue? I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Why are these jokes dated in 2008? Yeah. And it's like 2004. <laughs> you know, Mateo's a young man. I can see him like somehow moving up in the ranks and becoming a politician one day. Oh, he's the next Bill Maher, 100%. Yeah. It's, it's out of doubt. But he's like the politician from, you ever see uh, Pink Floyd's The Wall? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's pink, yeah. He just shows up. Like... I know, but he looks more like a blue waffle to me. Yeah. Like the pussy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give us one more, Mateo. Hey, 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 uh, come on, Mateo. Give us one more. Day. You guys, uh, Nine, you yeah. ever go down on a girl and come across the blue waffle? <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty nasty. Which is good because I always like breakfast in bed. You yeah. Know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, man. I, 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 if, she has, if she has a couple of pancakes for tits, I, am I right, guys? I, 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 I fucked this homeless chick once, man. All right. I'm going to read this in Mateo's I cadence. Do, I want to be a cool guy. This is the. <laughs> On the character. No. This is Mateo, the punchline Pascal. We'll get, okay, we'll get to your character. No, we're not. Gonna I get said to it. my mother the other day, "Why is it okay for young women to get up on stage and talk about their vagina?" But everyone got weirded out when I talk about the internet. She looked at me and said, "A vagina never killed anyone." She's right. I can't picture a pussy going rogue. Rock pussy. <laughs> See, you should have said you should have made an abortion joke because the vaginas have killed people. Yeah. Right? I, I think. I don't know. Does it make sense? Uh, I don't know. Why am I trying to punch up your shitty joke? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the alarming thing. Is why is he in the joke he's talking to his mother? <laughs> they, they have conversations about this. <laughs> but you're talking about... Life imitates art. He's talking, he's talking about the comedy scene with his mother. Mom, I don't understand all these female comedians getting spots. <laughs> you know what? Because you're too handsome. That's why, Mateo. <laughs> <laughs> like your mother cares. <laughs> <laughs> I sat through a whole dinner two days ago with my family, and not one person gave a shit about my comedy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone went around like talking about their job, like, and what are you up to? I'm like, snaps, bro, just just taking naps and writing jokes. You know, that's what I'm. No, doing. who's funny? Did you say? Right did you say snaps? You're doing Snapchat. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, the Snapchat. Are huh? you on the Snapchat? You no, know, nothing. Right? What are you doing there, Mateo? I should delete that whole fucking page. <laughs> <laughs> I need some more monologues, though, guys. I got my high school reunion later, and I want to floor them with, Ooh, with just bombing. I want to oh, you going, you going to that? Reunion. Reunion. Well, after 11, it's at Liberty Tavern, so I don't know if I'll be allowed in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I, don't I don't know. I don't know about Oh, because we were doing the bar review on this podcast. And I gave a scathing review. And there was an episode. Yeah. It was the Staten Island bar review, right? Don't get the kids. <laughs> and Mate- and uh, Farouk. Bashed uh, like liberty, t- yeah. Like I don't know. You have a it problem. wasn't unreasonable. Seems, seems like you'll like liberty, liberty. seems like you'll never be welcome there. Now I don't you? think so. I don't, I don't think I'm welcome there. I don't there. think I liked you from the beginning. <laughs> I, I did a nine eleven joke in there. Ever since then, I've, yeah, 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 fans. I like liberty. 
That's true. I like Brian Morris. I like uh, what Liberty's about. So gonna, I don't know. No, Brian Morris is fine. I have nothing against Brian Morris. He's, I like him personally. Right. <laughs> well, I, okay. I, I haven't been to the new one. I, I'm sure the new one's good. But when I was going there, it was the old place. Like, it was running the way it was. It was. This, there there was, was a reason. They, listen, there was a reason they had to shut down and renovate because obviously they weren't doing well. I've know? been begging them to buy the place next door. <laughs> <Jody's>. Right? <laughs> no, not Jody's. Yeah. But I would buy Jody's eventually. But the place next door, I want to buy that, that place and call it the Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> and then I buy Jody's and I call it life. <laughs> so it'll be life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness all in one block. <laughs> what a patriotic corner. Right there. <laughs> we love America here. <laughs> They're not fucking American. So you're saying uh, Liberty Tavern's piece of shit? Uh, it used to be. The old one that I used to go to, it was. I mean, let's be, we, we all true. used to you go. There wasn't the best. Like, I like so And they had to remodel because your business wasn't doing well. So we can all agree on that. They to, refurbished. You can go to your fancy high school reunion there, huh? Uh-huh. It's not fancy by any means, trust yeah, me. It's going to be a little fancy. It's going to be a lot of sanitation workers there who all went to an international high school. <laughs> Yet right. it didn't, it didn't, bro, it didn't at, wash the racism out of them. Dude, bro, look up <laughs> Becky Petriangelo. I used to fuck her. I'm the first guy who banged Jen Martucci. Well, I can't wait to go in and address my uh, principal by her first name. <laughs> What's uh, up, yeah. Amy? <laughs> How you doing, bitch? Was she a young lady? <laughs> was she old? No, but uh, she was She was not the... She was like middle-aged, whatever. She was, yeah. Is that uh, Maria Scavatori? Remember when I fingered you in back of <laughs> Joey Cusimano's car? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it a queen? I don't know. Like, and they, <laughs> Every high school we, you age like, them all up to like 50. They're only like 29, <laughs> 30. <laughs> My finger popped you in eighth grade. You liked that, didn't you? Was like, <laughs> man, who are you here with? Your husband? I was. You married? <laughs> Come here, bring your husband. What does it smell like? <laughs> oh, you, you, you married Steve <laughs> Jessapone? <laughs> what the fuck? You marry Scotty the douche? <laughs> Remember Scotty the douche? You used to call him the douche. <laughs> he was just a mascot. It's like, why did you call him the douche? I don't know. We just used to call him. This place is completely wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Fast times are yeah. high. Yeah. They, should, I also they learned, should do that. They should make that movie. I also learned from, uh, from my friend, a very intense garbage man who will remain unnamed. And, yeah, uh, no one. Too. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> no one else. Intense Mike. Intense Mike <laughs> yeah, told me. We, uh, intense friend. Farouk has a friend that we call Intense Mike because he's very. <laughs> he's intense. the most intense. We were driving up to Boston the last week. The reason why I was trying. Well, to- uh, we were driving up to Boston last week, and you're on the phone, and I guess. We were coming back. He knew that for some reason we're coming back from Boston <laughs> later that night. And I guess he found out about it. He's like, but Farouk, can you like pick me up? Don't fucking stand me up. Like, and Farouk's like, yeah, okay, Mike, you shouldn't talk to me that way. And how about a thank you? <laughs> and then you just hear the guy go, thank you. Okay. That's it. All right. <laughs> you guys, That's more unpleasant I am. Yeah, no, you're fine. Uh, you know, my intense friend, Mike. My friend intends Mike, you have to handle a certain way because he's a very, yeah. very demanding person. You got you to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta handle a child with kid gloves. I know. <laughs> but tell, you're a bad dog, but you're like a good dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't bite. This intense you don't Mike, have behavioral problems. This intense you know? Mike, he bites. Yeah, he does. But intense <laughs> Mike told me Carefully that bad. apparently when you, when you join sanitation, they do, <laughs> they do like a formal... <laughs> What? For the new garbage men and garbage women. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, thing, we, this thing get this. The other people pick up the shit. <laughs> <laughs> get this. We don't even have to touch a fucking piece of garbage. <laughs> yeah, this formal, it's at a place called Joe's on Avenue. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. do it in the garage. Yeah. Oh, it's at the garage. Yeah, of course. But, we're, you know, that's we're, what we... <laughs> I got my best fucking green jumpsuit on. <laughs> Yeah, women have to wear trash bags. Men wear their uniform. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fellas, hey, fellas, we got new blood here. New blood here. <laughs> right? This little wonder brag bag of shoes. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> they just pick the trash for the best outfit. <laughs> hey, Mikey Preachy Andrew, hit the lights. We're going we're gonna to initiate you real quickly. <clears throat> Let me see what you do. Do me a favor. Drop some shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no more than that. <laughs> Will you drop a couple pieces of paper? I can pick that up. I've been picking up that since I was 11 years old. <laughs> Throw anything wherever you want. We're not on the clock today. <laughs> drop some shit on the floor. All right. Do me. Hey, hey, new blood. Clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Get down there, I said. Rookie, clean up my shit. Yeah. All right, now give me a sandwich. Hey, look at the lettuce. It's full on the floor. You want to get that though? All right. He's forty thousand dollars. It may be a little overtime. Who knows? I don't know. Well, uh, now I wonder if they cr- if they're crowned like a trash king and a trash queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's always like it's, a, it's it's definitely like having a big Adam's apple. <laughs> 
It's like, ah, oh, <laughs> June. But they just keep giving it to me every year, man. <laughs> the trash it could be an actor, you know? The trash, the, the trash king is Joe Namoli. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Namoli. The trash queen. He would seem to be the perfect, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know, yeah, I love yeah. the cook, you know. Uh, the trash cooking. queen's always a mouthy Latina. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> every yeah. sanitation work, a worker who I see is a uh, woman is always a yeah. Latina. Yeah. yeah. But they're, uh, they're pretty, uh, those, uh, those, the, the sanitation The work. best part of our, of our formal is when we all get together and we do the cha-cha slide. <laughs> <laughs> they're like great dancers yeah, let's, let's do the cha cha slide hey we're you know we're New York strongest <laughs> no, <you're not. laughs> yeah mentally <laughs> you're on fucking garbage all day <laughs> I, I don't know who would want that job I've been told to get that job my entire hey. like that's the job you want You want? I'm like who the fuck wants to be around garbage all day grand, but but no, sm- it, it is it is a great job they work like two hours a fucking day yeah I'd hey, rather it's it's not it's smell like it's fucking it's New York's it's garbage it's <laughs> go ahead 70 grand a year so go ahead like, Here's the thing. Yeah, 70, yeah, yeah. 70 grand a year, right? A pension, 22 years, in and out. Yeah, but sir, you smell like shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like shit. And you've been retired for 10 you're years. Giving me the, you're giving me this advice while holding a garbage bag yeah. full of diapers right yeah. now. Like, yeah, <laughs> And now they got this new thing called recycling. No, nah, the overtime is intense or whatever in the winter, but most of the year they're just relaxing. My friend says, like, I'll be at work working hard at my real job. Right. And he'll send me, a, a, like, a Snapchat or whatever of him, like, a hammock, like, just in the garage yeah, in a we hammock three hanging Three hours a day. <laughs> don't tell no one that, no. <laughs> Yeah, every sanitation worker is like, we work three hours a day, but don't tell anyone. Yeah, I know. The, the other guy just told me that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the thing they brag about the most, but they go, like, yeah, don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, because we're New York strongest. <laughs> and do they call themselves New York strongest? Yes. No, that's what. No, no, no they don't call them. They the city gives out. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah that's what, what their thing is. Yeah. Listen, okay, they don't refer to themselves as New yeah. York strongest. Yeah. So you refer to them as the police department certainly refers to themselves yeah. as New York's finest. <laughs> <laughs> You're messing with one of our finest. <laughs> Make him the sandwich he wants. <laughs> <laughs> he said provolone. Cops, cops are such shitheads. <laughs> they're, they're, I know. They're the worst. I know. They're, they're the worst. I think by as far as job entitlement goes, cops have it the most, though. Oh, I yeah, would say so. Definitely cops have it the most. Because then you'll meet cops who were like, I never fired my gun once on the job, like, like the whole time I was yeah, there. Yeah, because I work in a well, white same... neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in New York mostly a white neighborhood now. <laughs> Gender to yeah, I was in my gun out once. I saw a Lithuanian maid walking in my house. <laughs> I was like, what's she doing there? And then some guy came out. I was like, that's my, uh, my maid. Well, c- cops are New York's finest, right? Mm-hmm. And firefighters are New York's bravest. 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 Get yeah, that. You yeah. know why. Because they're so brave. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. so fucking brave. I spit at them. when uh, It's easy pole. to be brave when you're full of cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sliding that pole. Yeah. Know what, I, know what I do when I put out a fire? I, sp- I spit at the firefighter. <laughs> that way the spit goes into the fire. And that's how I put out a fire. <laughs> well, you know why they need a ladder, Mateo? Yeah. In case they, a kitten gets stuck in a fucking tree, yeah. right? <laughs> that's why they need a ladder. We rip up the fire department. Say, Mateo, you know the firefighters? Listen, bro, you, I need your help, fire department. My cat's stuck in the tree. I'm the cat. I'm stuck in the tree, right? Ma- now. Mateo, the firefighters, they all fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's just trying to go on too. Your cousin's a firefighter. Hey, you, He's probably my, gay my, with his. Fa- <laughs> my, my, my father's a retired uh, firefighter. I mean, a retired <laughs> fag. Oh, <laughs> well, funny story. Your son is <laughs> a fag. Want to hear? hear a quick? Want to yes. hear a quick? Sure. Want to hear a quick? I want to tell the audience so quickly. Well, as soon as you're done, zombie, we'll go back to high school bully in Mateo. Right. <laughs> it's like real quick, funny story. So Get while my faggot. father, while my father was still with the with the New York Fire Department, it's like he and a bunch of like the like guys from his firehouse. They would they would took a bus to go to a jet ski, right. and <laughs> they the whole, fucked like, at a jet ski. No, no, no. It's like it's like on on like the on like the bus ride to the game. It's like there's like people like pulling up behind him. Like it's like there's like people that are like honking at him. Some people yeah. like cheering him. Some people give him the finger. And they're like, it's like you're like, what the fuck's going on? So eventually, at some point, they pull the bus over, and they get out and they look on the back of the bus. Like some of the other guys at the at the house put a big banner on the back of the bus that said "Annual Gay Firemen's Retreat." <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's redundant. <laughs> you should just say "Firemen's Retreat." What were they What were they doing with that banner? <laughs> hey, give me that. That's like the cops' banner. Give me that. Give me that banner back. Uh, that zombies that was Fireman Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Mateo, what's your favorite album? By what? Who's your favorite singer? Like your favorite. Oh, my favorite album in general? Yeah, favorite singer, favorite singer. Currently, I'm really like I'm really into the new Post Malone one. <laughs> well, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking he sucks. Re- Mateo went really deep in thought with that. He, uh, 
Too bad Post Malone sucks, man. Yeah, yeah. he does. He does suck. <laughs> Post Malone, more like leave me alone. You know? <laughs> Post <laughs> Office Malone <laughs> <laughs> sucks, man. Like, I don't. I don't get it. All, all his rhymes are about mail. Yeah. <laughs> you got mail. Yeah, yeah that's my that's my <laughs> signal. That's yeah. You want to hear a quick joke, Matteo? Yeah. Well, well, let's hear it. Yeah, hear a quick uh, quick street joke. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. On. yeah, yeah, yeah. You excited about this? One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. uh, a um, a man uh, is drinking all day in his bathtub, right, Matteo? Drinking yeah. all day, but he gets a little horny, so he calls a hooker, right? Goes to the front door, a hooker comes, goes to the front door, she knocks on the door, hot boots, all that shit, right? <laughs> 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 hot boots, all that shit, right? So the the, um, the man goes to the door, and he's all fucked up, right? And the hooker goes, hello, how are you? He goes, well, he's like, fuck, come here! <laughs> come here! Come here! This joke is so, so funny. Uh, <laughs> so the man's walking back to, well, it's like leading her through the house, big house, right? Leading her through the house. And uh, the hooker's like, where, where are we going? She's like, you know, kind of like... So he goes into the yeah. bathtub, all right? He goes into the bathtub. He's all fucked up. He goes, uh, he has a little rubber ducky, right? He's like, like, she thinks he's about to take off her clothes. He's like, no, no, bitch, keep your clothes on. And uh, the hooker's like, well, what do you want me to do, all right? What I want you to do is, okay, uh, start the splash in the water, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the hooker's like, okay. So he's like, so he starts like easily splashing. He's like, that's the bitch. So as he splashing the water, he's in the, he's in the, uh, the hot, in the tub, right? <laughs> She's splashing the water. He's like, make it like waves. I want waves. <laughs> <laughs> waves, right? Okay, now, now, uh, now, start stomping your feet like thunder. <laughs> so, she, so, so, so the hooker starts stomping, stomping her feet. Right? The hook, the hook is stopping the feet, making wave. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> okay? Now do me a favor. Do me a favor with your other hand there. The lights, the lights. Flick them like it's lightning. <laughs> so, so that she's creating waves. She's stopping the feet, lightning, right? The, the hooker, like, you know, he's like, he's having a great time. He's like, yeah, yeah! <laughs> the hooker's like, sir, sir, uh, excuse me, sir. You call me here. I'm, I'm doing all this shit. When, when are we going to fuck? The guy goes, were well, you kidding me? Fuck! In this weather? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. That is my favorite joke ever. Joke. <laughs> that is my fucking favorite joke. That was worth the build up. That was great. Because so <laughs> he's a drunk. <laughs> It's so great. I love, that I love the misdirection from the get go. You yeah. said it was a street joke. It all took place in a bathtub. I really like that. <laughs> well, no, street joke. Yeah, street joke. Yeah. Oh, how, 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 where are we on? We're at 26, 26 minutes. minutes. Uh, okay. right, I want to take a quick break. Took, I don't care. Smoke. Sure, yeah. yeah. Smoke, yeah, yeah. Smoke in the street. Right. Obviously, we're not going to read your address for the two listeners that want to visit you. Uh, <laughs> look at this photo. He looks, he looks like, like David Berkowitz. He looks like like you know. Like, we'll you know, post it. We'll post it on the page. You ever go on like a Wikipedia? Yeah, take a picture of it. Uh, to go look up a gangster on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is Matteo. This, this is, is what they look like. You look fifty nine in the photo. That's your picture. Of the unconsensual. That's your picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have the driver one either. No, fucking him driving. Under twenty one, Matteo. You're not under twenty one. No, I got you when I was 16. Oh, yeah, it's, okay, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, you, you know. update your ID, kid. You were 16 there? Yeah. <laughs> you look... Your face is shaped like a jug. What the fuck? We're, we're, all, we're on. We're on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're watching the other one. Yeah. That's how loose we are on this show. You <laughs> never know when the mics are on. That's right. <laughs> never Mateo's really got right. a jug handle face. I've never seen yeah. one. We haven't <laughs> called someone fish face in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Out, before. Call you jug face for now on. <laughs> oh, jug face Mateo. Oh, jug face. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you look like a quart of orange juice. <laughs> 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 Old Tropicana boy. <laughs> yeah. General Tropicana of, yeah. <laughs> of the Civil War. <laughs> no, no, it's funny. I've been comparing Mateo to a dog throughout the entire episode. Yeah. Now I got to drive him back to the ferry. I'm going to lower the window for my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Mateo's hands and just uh, tongue is sticking out. Of yeah. the <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. I was oh. watching. Did you just. Did yeah, you just you <laughs> no, that was disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> he just started, started, started showing his tongue to us. So, uh, <laughs> he was like, like a lizard. Like he's Gene, like he's Gene Simmons. 
Oh. You ever seen jeans? Oh, oh Jesus, stop that. All right, that's enough. Zombie is disgusting. Visibly, yeah. visibly disgusting. We should do an episode where we all dress like Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be down to do that. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> we should do that and just tell Mateo to dress like Kiss. <laughs> I'll be the cat. I was watching Gene Simmons. Even better. We tell we do the podcast. We tell Pat we're going to dress up as Kiss. And that's the, that uh, he'll, yeah, he'll do it. He'll dr- no, he'll dress like a Hershey's Kiss, though. Oh, God. Because he's gay. Yeah, <laughs> guys and Kiss. Yeah. Uh, I was watching Gene Simmons on the old Mike. Remember Mike Douglas, the Mike Douglas show? Yeah. Uh, no one really, yeah. And um, he w- goes on, he comes out. This is very young. He's very young, Gene Simmons. And he comes out dressed as the devil, or whatever mm-hmm. he is, you know. And he's uh, this old Jewish female comedian sitting there, and he's just like doing all the shtick like Mateo mm-hmm. was doing to you before, mm-hmm. sitting on his tongue. And she turns around and goes, I bet you're just a nice Jewish boy under that makeup. And he goes, oh, you'd be surprised. And he goes, and the woman just goes, yeah, I can see the hook. <laughs> 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 Most anti-Semitic thing. That's hilarious. That's you, hilarious. Because he knows you can see it. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it's an, it's like, yeah, uh, I love those old time talk shows. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love this one. Um, Joe Pine. This guy, Joe Pine. Right? Yeah. He, in, he interviews uh, Anton LaVey. Anton LaVey. Yeah, I saw that. You saw yeah. that? Yeah. Anton LaVey is the... the church of Satan and creator. Right. He's, um, the, you guys can't see this when Mateo stood up from his chair when he said that. How <laughs> 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 irrelevant. Uh, Anton LaVey is the... Yeah, he's the uh, the head of ch- uh, Church of Satan. Yeah, uh, the uh, founder of it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anton, Anton LaVey. LaVey. Right, 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 right. This was Anton LaVey senior. So, so this guy, Joe Pine, interviews him for about 15 minutes. But there's a video on YouTube where it's like cut down to four minutes. And the guy, Joe Pine, is so fucking quick and funny. And uh, at the end of the interview, he turns around. Joe Pine turns around and goes, yeah, I'll tell you where to go, but you might enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you where I want you to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my I was watching the uh, the town. You ever see the town, Mateo? Yeah, love good it. movie. Love mm-hmm. it. Great mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm. A lot of authentic Bostonians oh, in that movie, yeah. right? Go down to Dorchester. <laughs> Dorchester. <laughs> Go down there. Find yourself a couple authentic <laughs> Bostonians <laughs> playing hockey, and get them in the movie. Ben Affleck. <laughs> Get them in the fucking movie now. <laughs> Why are you repeating what you said? <laughs> Get them in the movie. <laughs> ben you do look like Jeremy Renner a little bit. Like, just, just a little really? bit. Really? I don't see that. Mateo <laughs> <laughs> sticks out his chin. Because oh, I do look like Jeremy. I feel that Jeremy. No I, matter what impression he does, you always go to Marlon Brando, no matter what. <laughs> Have you ever seen someone's ego grow in front of your face? <laughs> <laughs> I've met Lev for yes. <laughs> <laughs> That guy. <laughs> that guy's edgy. Oh, <laughs> that no. guy handles hecklers. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, and like they're not planted at all, guys. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. Let's move off it. Chris Fager might get upset. <laughs> that's his boy. That's his boy. No, that's just, he doesn't like yeah, what we talk about. You know why about. I like to see uh, fucking left for a handle the hecklers we had to handle last week? <laughs> just say. Oh, no. I really would. I really like to see him go up against Bronco and not crumble like a little bitch. That would be great. bitch. <laughs> right. No, I'm kidding. Everyone's great. I have no problem with that, fair. I just want to say everyone in the comedy community is great. And I love everyone. And I, I, I encourage everyone to continue to follow their dreams. My favorite comedians are all female comics. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My favorite comedians are all non-binary people. Okay? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it's actually open to interpretation. What does binary <laughs> mean? What does that mean? Binary means a decimal, like a one or zero. So anything can be like binary, either or. Black, That's not what white. he's asking. That's not what he's asking. No, 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 no. He's giving me. What's this bisexuality? No, no, binary. binary oh. is, no, like it, 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 a binary is basically a one, one of two. One That's of what two. binary means. One of two. But if you so, I got to do math to enjoy this. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, man. Sex non- is got educational. <laughs> Jesus Christ. When you're non-binary, you don't identify. When you're clearly biologically yeah. one, but you identify "quote unquote" as not as what you are. What the fuck, Eddie? I don't believe in this shit. I'm just saying. What, Get the. Like, this isn't a podcast about beliefs. This is a podcast about... It's about non-consent. About non-consent. <laughs> <laughs> the unconsentable. That's right. We're the most offensive podcast. Non-consent. You never know what's coming. You get raped at any time. The unconsentable is Harvey Weinstein's the villain. The <laughs> he's the Al Capone. Ah. Yeah. He's Al Capone. <laughs> now you see it. Now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. Uh, I, I don't know. What are you? What are you gonna say there? Come on. To Come on. Tell me. Your dick. Now you see. Now you don't like. Ah, uh, like a magician. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that, 
get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Your son is a fag. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. A oh, I want to tickle. Uh, right I just want to tickle zombie's belly. belly. <laughs> the I want pizza to tickle, dough. I want to the tickle pizza it. Yeah, it looks a little good there. Venom. What do you got there? Well, zombie getting jacked. I, I, I told Zombie before he came back from Florida. He's the only person that comes back from Florida and, he, and is uh, even more white. I know. You went to Florida? What the yeah. fuck? You, you don't tan? What? No. Did you go like? I don't tan. I You're think. like a lobster. You know, yeah. Would you go to Florida, Colorado? Like what the fuck did you? Yeah. <laughs> I, went, I I managed to find the deepest, darkest part of Florida. Okay. And I stayed well, there. For what two did you go weeks. Tampa Bay? <laughs> well, was that Trayvon Martin's neighborhood? <laughs> was it Ever- Everglades? <laughs> so you went to a voting district? Go on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in Florida. Uh, I have nothing for this. <laughs> Everyone, That's not like you, Zombie. What are you uh, talking about? Zombie hung out with a bunch, <laughs> zombie hung out with a bunch of hood rats in Florida. He's like, the, he's like cool zombie out there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come he's on. Like come play, he's breaking up the fights. Yeah. Yo, cool. Get together to both do the zombie's impression. Just, hey, yo, just stop fighting, guys. <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't sound like that. <laughs> that was a great zombie. You should be flattered. Hello, I am Farouk. So yeah. to That's offensive. That's that is offensive. <laughs> offensive. Hey, Stop picking your skin. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Mateo was picking his skin and I scolded him. The most, <laughs> the most assertive thing. And then he, Mateo just jumped like he just got slapped by a barrel. Like, oh. They really do have. And he goes right back to it. Like, they really do have dog and owner like relationship. Because I do that to my dog when it scratches itself. I'm like, don't do that. Mateo, Mateo, just pissed Mateo all give my puppy floor. dog eyes and moan a little bit. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mateo's giving Greg the sad puppy eyes. Get Mateo, get Mateo a cause light. Boy. You want a cause light, boy? <laughs> and a band aid. Apparently, he's shedding. <laughs> he's popping his fucking pimples on oh my, my fucking God. apartment. God damn it. All of my fucking apartment. God. My, my pa- I, suddenly, I suddenly came from Boston. Did you see uh, Donald Trump's D Day speech? Yes. You know, no. The moon thing? Is that what you're talking about? No, no. just no. the D Day speech where no. he's just like. He's just like and these brave people, and everyone's just like hanging on to every word he says. <laughs> but what no one knows is that he thinks the uh, the word uh, the letter D in D Day stands for Donald. <laughs> <laughs> He's a brave man. They're just supporting <laughs> your president. <laughs> <laughs> They all love your president. Your president is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole reason they went towards the day I was born. What a, what a moment of retard synchronicity, right? The <laughs> <laughs> leader of birds, you will say and they will follow. <laughs> What's happening? I'm, not, I'm just trying to make sure what a... What a oh. Um, oh fuck, this is gonna be bad. Though. Well, let's hear it. Oh, yeah. no, we love it. We were bad. We know we're bad. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we are a bad podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We're a terrible podcast. Yeah. We're, we're not the talking. slant. I mean, yeah. come on. No, no shots. Oh, we're, we're, shots we're, fired. Sal and I are on good terms. Don't ruin that for me. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a problem with him taking up with yourself. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm applying for an OSHA card. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, I'll spit it out. Uh, the movie You Got Serve. I was watching. What? You ever see You Got Serve? Yeah. Oh. You never seen that movie? It, what's the plot? Great movie. There's literally no plot. There's literally no plot. No, there's, 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 no plot. No, there's no a plot. plot. What are you talking about? A they big... dance and then they dance harder. That's the oh, plot. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. No, you the... got served, bro. <laughs> oh, Marion and Marcus Houston. They oh, have a big star set of Steve, yeah. Steve Harvey's in the movie. Yeah. Who's he playing? Mis- uh, Mr. Rev. Mr. Rev. Mr. Rev's neighborhood. And, uh, <laughs> right? There's That's like, uh, <laughs> here, here's the movie. Here's the movie. There's uh, an all black dance team. But yeah, two, I, I, I know. I know. Actually, it's not all black. There's one white guy who's like the looks token, like the token white. Everyone guy. thinks he's Channing Tatum in the movie, but he, it's not Channing Tatum. It's a guy that guy should be um, in the credits. Should be guy that was not Channing Tatum. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's it's a black uh, dance group, yeah. and uh, they're dancing, and they're known to be like really good dancers. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Not <No>. those <laughs> things. Might as well be, but uh, but then there's like these two white guys, and one white guy has like a blonde crown, right? Yeah. And they are like, "We're gonna challenge you, black guys, right?" And uh, do you have a tiny mustache? And um, where's this going? Hold on, I'm explaining the movie to you. Hang on. And uh, the 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 one white guy, this blonde white guy, 
He's so evil and over the top mm-hmm. for no reason. Mm-hmm. The, the other white guy's not, but this blonde white guy, his name is Wade throughout the movie, right? And uh, but Steve Harvey's in the movie. He's all like black and shit, and like he's all like like Steve Harvey usually. Is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's all he's all. No, black. Wasn't he like white in the eighties? No, he, he's the blackest man in this movie. He's like all like it's he's a. Like, like, there's one scene where he's just like it's a good day in Mr. Rev neighborhood. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like, like this reminds me of when we used to rest for a nickel, <laughs> and then we would win, and then we go up the block by a popsicle, a Mateo popsicle, <laughs> and we all be licking on that popsicle. <laughs> Damn. On the, on the same possible uh, pudding pop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like that guy. Wrong guy. O- wrong guy. <laughs> they have the over the top <laughs> white villain, and for no reason. Like they, there's no reason. Then they like battle, and they don't marry and mm. fucks uh, Marcus Houston. All oh, the chicks in those mo- that movie is really they're all hot. They're all, yeah, all I mean, hot. Dancers are generally no. Hot, no I'm yeah. talking about the right like well, Megan Good. Marcus, Megan Marcus Megan Houston Good was so hot in that movie. Megan Hood. And, oh, Megan Good. And so what's uh, and the other girl? The, the other girl's okay. Look. Oh, isn't that Channing Tatum's wife? No, no, no. no. He was married to a black girl. No, no he's, he's married to dancers. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably married to a guy. But here's the dick. The the white guy in the movie. He has the catchphrase. Right. He has the. He's like when he when they because in the middle of the movie the white guys beat the black guys and they're like hey sucker you got served right right and then at the end of the movie the black guys win and know what happens what happens they got served. Well, yeah, because then you got to make room for the second. It's, that's how, yeah, you know, you got to. I want to make a sequel to uh, Magic Mike, but now it has uh, Michelle Rodriguez, and it's called Magic Dyke. <laughs> but What's I want to make a. She still is she I really want to. Yeah, there was a uh, sequel in the works. Um, it was, uh, it was a Paul Walker biopic. It was called You Got Swerve. <laughs> <laughs> Into a tree. <laughs> they always did that in those movies. They always made an over-the-top villain. It's always a white guy. Well, I don't understand why... Okay, did let's... you see Good Burger? Oh, yeah, love it. Yeah, I was just about to, I was just about why to say Why was actually. Kirk so evil? He wasn't even... The owner, yeah. He wasn't even... He was just the, the manager. He was like the manager, yeah. yeah. He's like, this is a big opportunity yeah. for me. <laughs> Kirk has stuck. I'm moving up. I'm moving up in the world. I want the very last good burger. <laughs> oh, it's so. He was putting steroids in the burger. Kirk, Kirk, Kirk took the name is Kirk, Mondo Burger. Like, why would you? That doesn't sound appetizing. It's I don't a know big about burger. It's like I want. It's like I want a burger that tells me what I, how it is before I even eat it. Kirk put his life that, savings into Mondo Burger. I don't know. Oh, okay, I thought that was. Kirk, I want a good burger. I want a good burger and take your order. How old was he? The Cal- character Ed. How old was he? Late twenties. He was retarded. Uh, okay, that makes sense. He had a, probably a giant cock on him. Uh, <laughs> Cal, Cal was fucking. Cal, uh, he's still around? What's he do, Mateo? I don't you run know. into him at all? No. Oh, okay. That's not Cal? your boy? No. That's not your boy? I think days? he helps Keenan wipe his ass. I think that's what he does <laughs> now. <laughs> then he should run into Mateo. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not around these parts. Uh, these you know what's sad? No one even gave that guy like a, any kind of endorsement for orange soda. That guy was the biggest proponent of orange soda. Orange the soda thing in the show. Orange soda doesn't advertise. They yeah. they have a lot of integrity. They don't. Have to, there's no advert. They don't advertise now, orange soda. Let's be honest. A black guy like an orange soda. Come on. <laughs> That's okay. yeah. It's called a Fanta. They don't advertise Fanta. No. Yes, they do. Oh, during this month because it's gay. <laughs> Fanta's gay. <laughs> By the way, the Pride Parade was a few months back. It was called the New England Patriots. Hey, got him. Hey, up wee. your ass, Boston. Up your ass. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go kiss your son in the mouth? Hey, yeah, get the fuck out of here, Tom Brady, right? <laughs> He's a queer. Tom Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Tom the uh, Terrible. Yeah, Tom's a terrible douche. Tom. Tom's a. Tom Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. You should play Tom Tom in a remake of the Macho and the Soldiers, Mateo. I've never seen it. Never seen. Get the fuck out of here! Didn't you mention it before? You mentioned it before. Did I mention it? Yeah, you did. Oh, in the first episode. It's his favorite. You never see Martian Soldiers? They they, they literally play it. Here's here's what it's about. It's about two. It's about a black team, (laughs) white team. (laughs) Then they dance. No, it's a it's a great movie. It's what Laurel. It's a classic. About what? Laurel and Hardy. Explain the movie to me. It's it's literally like Laurel and Hardy. They say. <laughs> I didn't even start talking yet for goddamn. He's reenacting the first scene, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah. not, it's it's like set in like a, like story time. Like all this like you know like the like, like like little Bo Peep and it's like Tom. It's about the soldiers, oh. <laughs> little Bo Peep. It's like, it's like Laurel and Hardy. It's like they play these like they, they like toy Don't cry, workshop. Bo Peep. We will find you 
Oh, shit. No, what that's about, that's about the people, because the people are a bunch of sheep at the time. Right. Because around that, that's when... Tell uh, me, you sick bastard. Go a, ahead. Amer- <laughs> it's a metaphor for uh, America not wanting to join World War II. Oh. That's what they were... And Little Bo Peep is representative... Too, too. No. Little Bo Peep is representative okay. of Franklin Delano Roosevelt at the time, oh. who wanted to enter the Americans into the war. Oh. They had four chairs back then, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is right up your alley. Go ahead. Yeah. Keep, keep yeah. Back then it was for Jackie Chan. In that movie, though, think... you're right. There is a scene where uh, in the movie there's um there's a bunch of blocks and they have letters on the blocks and um they that's a, a metaphor for the union. Someone hits yeah. into the letters and it spells rat. A ton of political allegory in and that movie. The, that was because of the un, like a union. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great movie. You should watch. Yeah, what, have you seen The Wizard of Oz? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, on your, so you've on never the, seen much. He got really into The Wizard of Oz at one point. Was he? Why? Yeah, you should be the scarecrow in something. Well, no, you think, no, I get into this. Boy, we really had a Willy Wonka. Wonka. You're mixing it up. What? what? No, you were into Wizard of Oz at one point, or Willy Wonka? Willy Wonka. Is. Willy Wonka. Oh, I thought you were into. Those. Well, he was into Willy Wonka. If you yeah. <laughs> Willy Wonka was into those kids. Right? Come on. <laughs> no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He, he was a good man. He wanted to kill the kids. Because he, wa- he, yeah. well, he, he wanted to feast off of them and stay young. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's did, why the queen. That's something the that candy good was the kids. Yeah, that's what the so, queen. So, the so, queen, you see the queen. Queen of England. Queen of England. She that bitch don't age because she's eating children. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, there's something going on there. Something's going on there. Why don't she age? Seriously. Why? Money. 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 Do you think it's money? It's money. Look at George Clooney. So the guy hasn't aged since fucking Batman. Like, look at that guy. He's a George f- Clooney. Yeah. yeah money, I'm yeah. George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I played Batman and I'm <laughs> handsome. That's your George Clooney. That's my George Clooney. Yeah, He's going to shake your head. You played Batman in one of the worst Batman movies yeah. ever made. Exactly. Well, Did not you, affect his career whatsoever. I want to put George Clooney in. Uh, blackface and call him George Cooney. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm George. Uh, Co- I now live in the Mariners Harbors <laughs> Project, <laughs> and I'm George Cooney. <laughs> Get off my porch. <laughs> I think Clint Eastwood. Skippity doo da, skippity day, skippity doo da, skippity day. <laughs> See that? What is that? Oh, movie? Oh, what wonderful day. What movie is that? You're, you're a big Disney what? guy. What movie is that? Skippity doo da. There's, there's just a. Uh, one of the like random like shorts that they made like in like the what are, like the forties or whatever that was. Yeah, but it's about a slave, right? I, I, I think he's, that's I, so I, racist. I, mean, I think he's, well, it's like Disney was like it's like super racist back then. Y'all Guys, stop talking about this. It hurts my ears. <laughs> 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 that's right, people. You love Disney so much. Too bad Walt Disney was a racist. He was. He, he was definitely racist. racist. He hated the Jews. He hated, he, hated, uh, he hated anybody that wasn't white. He was, yeah, it was very, really? yeah, yeah, he was very, it's, you know, it's like very, very well known. I'll be honest. Cinema. He was on the wrong side of the border making those films, honestly. <laughs> like if he was, if he, like the, the Nazis like platform would be much softer if that Disney on their side. <laughs> <Isn't it funny laughs> like, how... this, the, they, they even like, Disney even like put out like it was a, it was an anti-Nazi like propaganda movie. It's like, it's like where it's like Donald Duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dreams he's that, Hitler. Yeah, he's, so, yeah. He's it's Hitler, like Donald Duck. Like, he, he wakes up and. It's, it's like, <laughs> That's like, so funny. They fucking look it up. Look it up on YouTube. So you just, uh, it's like, it's like, go on like YouTube and just type in Nazi Donald Duck. Yeah, it's just, like, yeah. It's, it's like, a whole propaganda film. That's like, so like, funny. Scenes, like, Don, like Donald Duck, he's like working like. Well, uh, Looney Tunes also used to have this yeah, problem Looney where Tunes they were too, they were if even Tom and Jerry like if you go back. And so when Tom when uh, Tom had a white owner, the voice would be like, "Oh, Thomas, where are you?" Yeah. And then if you have the black owner, oh of yeah, Thomas, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. oh Lord, Lord, Thomas, you better oh, like, so like oh, done yeah. up, like so oh, done up. God oh, damn, Thomas. catch the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Tom, and Jerry, Tom and Jerry. I think there's a line in there where you get with Tom, where Tom does something, and his owners go, "Watch the back, man." <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Jerry were in a blackout. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. The yeah, owner yeah, was a black was. guy. Yeah, they, they were, That's yeah. so fucking funny. <laughs> so. Racist. And here's the thing: the the white the white owners would come in all different shapes and sizes. Black owner, always fat black lady. Yeah, always, always fat always, black lady. Always, always. With like the biggest digits you've ever seen, like sausages and yeah, like. Oh, gosh, but they never show the face because God knows how bad oh, the face Jesus was. Christ. God knows how bad the face was because they just cut they it off. Fucking like lips would be like. They, <laughs> they probably they have, did not show the they face. They probably have lips the size of fucking a, a Disney soap. had like the uncut version where they show the face and only he watches it and hey. laughs in his office eating popcorn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey there, Tom Cat, catch that goddamn rodent. <laughs> catch that goddamn <laughs> Fucking road. Give me, give me my fucking broom. I'll catch it for you. You fucking lazy piece of shit cat. 
Oh, man. It's either you or the rodent top cat. <laughs> I'm gonna sell your ass. Can you imagine a world where, like, they're like, Disney presents Fantasia, the Third Reich? Like, imagine if, uh, <laughs> 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 Fantasia. Imagine if, like, for the, uh, when they had the black woman as Tom and Jerry, they were like, well, we gotta make it a cat because a German shepherd would be way too step or toe. <laughs> or a Rottweiler would be way too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with all those ch- uh, children shows, they have a lot of dark underlines. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's like, remember that show Lilo and Stitch? Yeah. It was originally yeah, yeah, yeah. written about some uh, rat who was a uh, part of the government uh, witness protection program. Mm. So it was going to be called Lilo and Snitch. <laughs> That's <was> terrible. <laughs> oh, shit, Tom. <huh? laughs> well, that doesn't live up to my standards. <laughs> <laughs> He's very Try high brow around harder. Here. He's he's a big Lilo and Stitch fan. That's why. <laughs> Looking around this room, I think like, you're a fan of every cartoon ever made, buddy. <laughs> do you own any? You know, you own any Lilos? I do not. I used to do Lilo's impression. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm a big rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, fucking, uh, they're, they're, sell, they're selling drugs down there. Oh, what Lilo? Do you don't remember that? Was that Lilo? That was Lilo no. Brancato. Oh. The- <laughs> 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 ah shit! I should have. Hey, hey, hey. hey, see, come here. Now I, now I have a. You, think, you ever see a Bronx Tale, Mateo? Oh yeah, love it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think um, C was being molested by Sonny, right? <laughs> come here, uh, uh, <laughs> come, come here. Take off yeah, your yeah, shirt yeah. already. Come on, <laughs> look at you. Look I don't want to play dice, Sonny. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, we're gonna play dice. Gonna be the dice gonna be up your ass. <laughs> Why was he so interested in grooming that little fucking? Like them, like them. What an unlikable piece of shit. Yeah, we try to get we try to get him on this program. Yeah, I we try know. to get Lilo Brancato on this program. No way he turned this down. Smacked us in the face. And now, no, I call him. I call him cop killer. <laughs> 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 After years of defending him, I was like, you know what? You did murder those cops. Yeah, he wanted two hundred dollars. <laughs> well, why he wanted two hundred dollars? Why? Why, so you want to kill more cops? <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait. I want to know. What, like, and, and Fuck you, Leo. Th- th- this is Fuck you. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Out of your interaction, what would you say was like worse? As a net, both, both interactions. What was in- worse? What, what was worse is acting in the middle of the Bronx Tale. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, what's his name again? Uh, Leo. Lilo Brancato. Yo, Leo Brancato or, or, uh, or, or um, uh, Nick DiPaolo. Which would you say was the worst interaction? Yeah, but I didn't have that much of an interaction. I had an interaction with Nick DiPaolo's manager. He just told me oh, you know, right, right, right. he didn't want me hosting Nick DePaul's show, which I mean, I watched Nick DePaul's latest special. Yeah, uh. not exactly something I want to be affiliated with. No, no, that's no. no. um, well, good. You know? <laughs> 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 no, uh, Lilo Brancato, uh, he wanted two hundred dollars to appear on this on this program on this radio program, right? And uh, I was willing to shell out the money. Um, but then again, I started thinking, I was like, well, what am I going to, uh, you know, he's going to come on, right? I don't like, know who that is. Little Brock is the star of a Bronx Tale. He was the kid in the Bronx Tale. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, okay, yeah, 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 Jane for the bar. Yeah, you could have picked the pretty. Or, no, Jane. Her name was her name was Jane. Jane, right? Right. right? And then uh, I like in the middle of the movie, she's like, I think she, her name is something di- di- exotic, like Danielle. Danielle's not that exotic. Name. <laughs> but I, he wanted he, he wanted to come on this program. Yeah, Monique didn't know the sex It's something Laquisha. exotic, like Laquisha. Um <laughs> Yeah, he wanted to come on. I, I wanted him on the show. Um, but then two hundred dollars, and then I had to go pick him up. The guy was trying to. The guy was trying to like make a uh, make make some money. And I'm like, well, you know, it's a fucking podcast. It's like, get a job, you bum. Really? Go, go work at the fucking Walmart, you <laughs> Then he, he, he wrote to me. Uh, I, saw, yeah. I, told him, I told him, get a job, you bum, and he wrote to me to work him into sucker. So I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Why do drive your bus? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, weird uh, role coming up in a Cinemax thing. You know, also, Showtime. He's been on a, a bunch of shit. He should shit. do porn. Yeah. He yeah, should. Yeah, He'd he probably take a stick out and do porn. <laughs> no, I, I don't no, want to It was, like, it was like some like, crime thing. I don't want to see him do gay porn. Come on. Uh, <laughs> him whipping his dick out on film is a crime. So, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> him acting in general is a fucking crime. He's a terrible actor. You think he's, he's a bad actor? He's a better right? actor than he is. You admit it now that he's a bad actor? Because I, I always thought he was a terrible actor. He's a terrible actor. He almost ruined the classic movie, Bronx Town. What, yeah. what, what, what are his roles in Sopranos? He's not good on the Sopranos either. He played 
Matthew Bevilacqua yeah. Sopranos, yeah. season two of The Sopranos. And also, he was okay on The Sopranos. Yeah. What a time to be an Italian actor! That show gave so many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 90s. Yeah, like, really? Yeah, yeah. Like, it was I got, a lot I got, of you know what? a lot I, of great I performances. Like, I no, I'm not denying that. I mean, so but the roles were written for them too. You definitely have to go back and watch. I gotta go back and rewatch Sopranos. What did you think of Game of Thrones? Did we did we discuss Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. I stopped watching after season three. Game of Thrones. I'm glad all this nerdy shit's ending, Matteo. Big Bang Theory out the door. Oh, God. Fuck God, off show. Out God off. The Game door. of Thrones out the door. Game of Thrones out the door. The no. Avengers. <laughs> Avengers. Well, Game of Thrones, they, they, they Star you, Wars. Are you done yeah. crying? Are you done <laughs> crying? <laughs> out the door, Mateo. <laughs> there, there is one thing that's nerdy to bring back. To bring back. Bring it back. To bring back Star Trek. Stop me. Star Trek. Star Trek? Yeah, okay. yeah they did a movie of Picard, oh, right? They did Picard. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they had a Picard movie and also the series now. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what series? No, no. Star Trek Discovery. But it's going to oh, suck. Oh, right, right. That's going to suck. It's going to yeah. suck. No, it's already, it's already, yeah. it's already in the internet. So Talk, the last one, Star Trek sucked, too. They can't do I, that. I still anymore. haven't watched uh, Discovery on CBS All Access. I, I, it's on my queue, too, guys. I like yeah. Patrick Stewart, so I... I Fuck have, Patrick like, Stewart. Really? Yeah, I was reading something the other day that Patrick Stewart treats his, uh, treats his fans like shit. Does he? Yeah, yeah. He was ben like, does. someone on Reddit was like, uh, yeah, Don't I met Patrick Stewart. Uh, I met Patrick Stewart once. He there's me jokes about it. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're in reputable source. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Will Wheaton doesn't have an agenda against Patrick Stewart. No, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, totally uh, On this, this program, we, we, we fucking break news. This, break news. Uh, this guy <laughs> went over to Patrick Stewart to say hello to him, and he goes, I'm sorry to interrupt, right? But And, he, and right before he can get out the butt, Patrick Stewart goes, well, don't. Wow. Yeah, nice. and then he just started eating. His, he just kept eating his food. Oh, he's, he went back to his shitty yeah, British Yeah, so the guy was like, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but... Well, and the guy's like, well, don't. He may have been channeling his character on American Dad. Yeah, but you know what? Let me tell you something about Patrick Stewart. He knows his best friend, Ian McKellen's a pedophile. That's right. Is yeah. he He's a pedophile. Yeah. yeah. Ian McKellen, yeah. McKellen, there's rumors for decades, but they never yeah. really came out. Hmm. It's going to come out. Eventually. It's going to come out. Like, yeah. I think when he dies. When he dies, yeah. It's be like Jamie Savile. The proof is in the pudding. The pudding in the nursing home. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's in the pudding. <laughs> There's tiny child-sized condoms in the pudding. <laughs> Would you suck my dick? Suck my d- He's Lord of the Pedophile Ranks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was in that movie. God. I had, like, I'm trying to think of a Gandalf joke, but I can't. Gods and Monsters. <laughs> oh, he played Gandalf. Yeah. Please, everyone, move quickly before John Zombie comes up with the joke. <laughs> no, please. I got nothing. I got nothing. Please proceed. I got nothing. Oh, I got something. What? A wizard is never late or early. early. He comes in your face on time. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to repeat it with me? That's a joke that you want to say. Why? No, it's not. What are you talking about? Yes, it is. <laughs> no, but the kid to come on the face oh, on time. I have a joke. <laughs> we're talking about I, I, in the bedroom. We're too nervous about coming too early, so I say. Let that. me tell you something. Okay. When Why Lenny, do we have to make everything about you? When, I don't, I don't, I don't. when Lenny Bruce spoke, did George Carlin finish his sentences? I'm not sure. So let me do my <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> I'm not sure. I have to check my resources. Hold on. Oh. I know I have notes on this. It is possible. <laughs> it's completely possible. Aren't you friends with I mean, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna DM uh, are Robert you, Klein. Are you friends with Andy Warhol again? Uh, Andy no, Warhol's no, no. friends. Yeah, I am. Why? We talk, I haven't talked to him in a few months. You haven't spoken to I him. hate Andy Warhol. Let me, let me let me get into the mind of you real quickly. Right? Let me get into this, yeah. this mind. What's the weirdest party you ever been to? I feel like you would you would thrive like a weird party. <laughs> you know, you're sitting there with like a, a, a John Voight like character. You're st- you're stealing food, and then someone comes up to you. It's like you don't have to steal the food here. <laughs> it's I, great. I can answer that. It was my eighth birthday. It was a surprise <laughs> party. <laughs> probably like a Twin Peaks scenario. Like, you would do well, like, in a fucking orgy scenario. No. No. No, no God, no. He'd do very well. No. I think he would do well. He'd no. get raptured he'd, into it. He'd be at first... Like, un- a moose head on him? At first, he'd be uncomfortable. <laughs> and they would be like, settle down, Mateo. <laughs> he'd start doing spells you on know, he would be. he would be the kid in Almost Famous. That's what Mateo would be like. like he's there, but he can't really do anything. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know the actor uh, that plays that kid? Yeah, yeah. You know what his name is? Patrick Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> no, it's pronounced. It's pronounced. <laughs> Patrick Faggot. <laughs> what, 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 Pat Faggerty? Uh, what weird wizardry, uh, wizardry are you in? Like, like you have some weird. Are you, was, you when I was younger? He's a dementor. Could you <laughs> cast spells on people? No, nah, like when I was younger. Have you attempted? When I was younger, I was really into like Aleister Crowley and reading tarot cards and stuff. And, and, you're like a and, Wiccan? And, Is that what you were? No. Have any yeah. of this stuff worked? In my opinion, they did, but it, it's very... Yes, I made Billy Procida grow a third eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have his dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, oh, 
Go on, go on, go on. No, I, in my mind, they have, but it's highly subjective. Uh, all right, I, uh, I don't know anything about that stuff. Uh, really common. I don't know. It's, yeah, well, you're, you're. I think we're all in agreement here that we're sitting with a wizard. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Mateo should play a young. Um, you Father Baron. shall not pass these uh, cheeks. Uh, you finally have to. Well, after <laughs> you got a couple the joke minutes, out. you finally got that joke. Out. Yeah, was, was it worth though. it? Was it worth it? Though? Uh, yeah, yeah, Not really. It no, it wasn't in horrible. Ret- in retrospect, no, it well, wasn't terrible. It would have been good sandwich in between our joke. Yeah, yeah but uh, yeah. You know, that's like the hand that falls out. With timing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No. You tried. You're not like Mateo, who's excellent with timing. <laughs> <laughs> Shows up early. <laughs> <laughs> he delivers the punchline before the joke. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Mateo. When you you recently auditioned, can we talk yeah, about? Yeah, the, yeah, I was going to bring up. Can we talk about that? Because I was, I've always been curious about that. We got nothing else to talk about. Say it again. What did you what you audition um, for? Saints of Newark. The what? many saints of Newark. many saints of Newark, which is the is that, is, is that, is oh that the, is that the, is that the oh the, 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 okay okay yeah. okay. Well, apparently they were going to call let, it just Newark. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the last I heard. They were going to call they, it Newark, uh, but uh, yeah. for, for the, it's just the Sopranos. Right. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So they had like a face, they had like a Facebook um like uh, login. Right. right. Like right. submitted a headshot I already had with my comedy, Ooh. and then they call you call you back for audition, and then they had like fifty people lined up and stuff. Hmm. They give us this envelope, and when you could not open the envelope until they called your number and name. Ooh. So I had like I opened it was like um, it was like uh, like um, yeah. side characters cop one of them was like uh, low of a gangster then the biggest one was impossible for a uh, young uh, um, Salvio I, of course and again he's never called me Salvio 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 please and um, they were talking me back for young so Salvio they gave me the like the uh, like a, a, a the soprano stuff um, the, bon- um, the boniquas <laughs> they gave me um. Uh, a script of like various characters he had in the thing they uh, they thought I would f- suit my uh, my looks for the character. Or had me read lines, videotaped it, audio, different tracks. So we talked, uh, the, uh, and the um, the the agent said, "Well, we also think you'll be good for some <coughs> roles of a deuce." And they gave me roles for the deuce in this like other pamphlet they had. I read them and uh, on video and audio, and they just said, never "Can you?" Them. I think they said, do you, "Sir, do you have to take a deuce?" <laughs> <laughs> You smell like shit, sir. Could you, could you play solid poop? Sec- second question, do you need wipes? <laughs> of course not. My stool is hard. I need a bathroom and a toilet. And that's it. it. <laughs> So you read for the role, of, yeah, I read for Silvio. Both. Yeah, there was just it was just like a paragraph line. But so it was the the lines in the show, like the script, a movie where like a scene of him arguing with a cop. Let's do the scene. I, I don't remember it because it was the same problem. Okay, okay. So basically, the cop was like um, <laughs> stopping him for some like yeah. weird thing. He's just like doing something with a car. Like I see him like robbing it or like okay. jacking it. And the officer's like, right, sir, what are you doing? And the guy uh, was like, bullshit. Oh, I'm repairing it. Okay. Uh, and the cop was like, why are the rims off the wheel? Like, why are the rims are off the uh, wheel? car? And, um, the and then like uh, the lines that I just, just an ocean of cursing at the guy. Okay, I'm gonna play the cop. Yeah, and you're gonna play yeah young Sylvia. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Okay. Excuse me there. Excuse me, son. Son, what are you doing behind that car? I'm just repairing it. You're preparing the car? No. Why are the rims off the wheels there? What, why do you are you to... trying to steal this car? Fuck no. I think you're trying to steal the car. You already got proof of that? How about I slam your head on top of the car and make a man of you? Fuck no. Bend over, son. Okay. It's time to fuck you in the ass. <laughs> by the way. And make you humble. I didn't say <laughs> this before this, but the cop is being played by Ian McKellen. <laughs> <laughs> a British guy playing an Italian. What could go wrong? I did an improv uh, show. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't do an improv show. I was a uh, comedian. Uh, Rob and I did a, uh, a show where it was a bunch of uh, improv, pe- a bunch mm-hmm. of improv groups. Fun show. Very fun show. If, you, if they listen to this show, you guys have a great thing going on, dude. You're hilarious. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah. They're, they're, so, they're fucking hilarious. They're really funny. I mean... In their own way? In their own way. You know. <laughs> no. Here's the thing. What, here's the thing with improv. Have you ever done improv, yeah. Mateo? It's always like someone, like some girl yeah, it comes out and yelling, Peanuts here! <laughs> Got your Peanuts! <laughs> I want to buy a silly hat at the silly hat store. Right. Here's my fake mustache. No. Oh, God. And my peanuts. Mm. Let's do some improv. Come on. Sure. Uh, uh, you said it. 
<laughs> what the fuck? He's, a foot. <laughs> He's talking to Farouk. <laughs> Farouk was looking, checking his phone, and Farouk put his microphone in front of his mouth, and then he was already thrown into his improv game. <laughs> which, I mean, listen, improv is about sinking and swimming. You know? That's right. I, mean, That's time I never learned how to swim, so it's time to sink. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, well, you're swimming now. We're yeah. in the water. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you live uh, on an island surrounded by water. Yeah. We're in the water. Are you the, wearing the silly mustache? Uh, oh, <laughs> my silly mustache is wet because of all this water. Get him a new silly mustache. I'm the lifeguard. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm just a lifeguard. You have a great body. Are you, you, you too, man. Thanks, man. I've been swimming a lot. <laughs> yeah, me too. I love to swim. Let me suck your tits. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Glazer. <laughs> That's not. Um, Come on. <laughs> fine. I, you, you're a baby. You're a baby. <laughs> Must breastfeed. Ooh. Oh, that's starting to feel good. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> Get off me. Get off me, you pervert. Your tits, my man. Your tits, they taste like coarse light. <laughs> <laughs> the most refreshing beer. <laughs> <laughs> coarse light. <laughs> Born in the Rockies. You can, tell, Rockies. you can tell the tit, uh, the tit cores is cold when the nipples are really, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> and the blue. <laughs> they could, when, when, when the Rockies can cut glass, they're, they're ready. Why do we let them continue? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> why do we say and scenes? <laughs> I love it. It's really I don't know why you assholes gave me a microphone. <laughs> 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 Oh. Like watching a toddler walk. <laughs> <laughs> because you know exactly where it's going. It's going right On the me. floor. Right Even the when floor. he falls, he's like, he's trying. He's but trying. it's so entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're doing well. You've, you, you have some good lines in the show. Every now and then. Every now and then. You're doing That's well. How was Florida? <laughs> <laughs> it was too sunny. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much sun down there. <laughs> you oh. didn't get any, though. That's, oh, how, that's amazing. Maybe, I'm, Every next time we go down the floor, you take, uh, take the it's a hit, it's a hidden talent of mine. I can go to the sunniest state in the in the, in the country now, and not get a tan. Now, but you're not even red though. Like that's a, okay. like how? Like that's it's a miracle. Did now, you just wear full sleeves down there? Like what the fuck? I did just you didn't do? go outside. Nah, okay. You play video games I, in Florida. Oh, I, I, I could see. Him. <laughs> Zombie went to Florida on vacation to play video games in a hotel room. He went. To, <laughs> he uh, he went to the beach once. They thought he was a lobster. <laughs> Trying to throw him back in no, the ocean. No, oh, no. no, actually, it's, I went to what, the, the beach and thought it was a Coney Island whitefish. You, you are <laughs> there. Very, you go. There it is today. You There's that classic very, zombie way yeah. that people can relate to. <laughs> you are very white. You're I am white. Quite, I'm quite pale. You can't get away with any racial jokes. No, I can't. Yeah. No, while well, he's made a few. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> zombie, like if there was a white pride parade, like you'd have to lead it. Like, There's yeah, no yeah. way you wouldn't be allowed to. Charles Hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tail said it's so supportive. Like if your if your lips weren't separating your teeth, I think they're part of your face. <laughs> so what you want? Mate- Jesus, don't do that. Mate- you look, you look like David Lee Roth. Stop. Mate- oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a happy name. <laughs> Mateo and uh, and uh, and zombie are gonna go down to Florida and mm. uh, uh, zombies be dressed as a cowboy. Right. On the way to Florida, but uh, they're on a bus, right? They're on a bus, <laughs> right? And uh, Mateo's very sick. Yeah. Right, he's very yeah. sick, yeah. And, and Zombie yeah. realizes that the cowboy office not working for him. <laughs> and the middle of the bus, uh, the middle of the ride to Florida, he gets out, and now he's wearing normal clothes. He's like, ah, "I think I'm gonna go down to Florida and uh, start a new life for me, yeah. a new life." You know, this this whole John thing. And, not gonna be, City slicking. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But as he's telling Mateo this, Mateo's dying. <laughs> and Mateo <laughs> dies. You're His muscles is too shaky. And that, we can you have died of dysentery. We can reenact Midnight Cowboy with Tom <laughs> and Mateo. But, but, you got, but you know what? Mateo's a man, so it'll be Midnight Cowboy. Yeah, Midnight Cowman. Midnight Cowman. Welcome to the Midnight Cowman Hour. <laughs> Yeah, we're on Gas Digital Network. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hosting the uh, Midnight Cowman Hour. I'm, my name is Zach Petrovich. Oh, God. <laughs> the Midnight Cowman Hour here on Gas Digital. Let me say one thing. Wait, wait, wait. Only here on this fucking podcast, we do not censor anybody. <laughs> uh, let's, take a, let's take a caller. Come on. <laughs> uh, I am a Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't censor anybody uh, on this fucking bucket. Uh, I just want to call. Okay. call, 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 call. But if you disagree with me, I will yell louder and act like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's right. 
There you have it, folks. <laughs> I know it's okay. Oh, yeah. uh, one in seven. Oh. One, one in seven. Yeah. Go one ahead and do your plugs. Uh, doing your show the 13th. Yeah, oh. I'm excited for that. Come on, let's get a plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, when, is you know, this, when, is, when, is, when is this airing? <laughs> Whenever we fucking feel like it. S- soon, well, if the soon. FCC won't. <laughs> the I'm not, FCC I, I, won't let me be. Uh, I, I don't know what, what Thursday it is, but one of the Thursdays of August, I'm going to be at the Creek. Okay. Awesome. Oh, okay. Awesome. Let me do my plug real quickly. Uh, how's your money, sister? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Like the, uh, uh, June 22nd, Stand Up New York. Right. Okay. It's a bringer show. So I need people to come out, okay? It's $10. And when is this airing? <laughs> <laughs> so, Testicles. So come on out. But I have a whole bunch of other dates. Those are all free shows. You know, I get booked a lot. You know? Oh, July <laughs> July uh, 6th. Muscle Fest. July 6th is Muscle Fest. Right. That's right. Muscle, muscle Fest. Fest. Muscle, muscle Fest. Fest. Yeah. Muscle, muscle Fest. Fest. Muscle Fest. Muscle Fest. I fucking hate Muscle Fest. <laughs> <laughs> you started it. You've created a no, monster no, you man. can't stop. No, You've no. created a monster you can't stop. No, not me. This man. This man right here started it. <laughs> He's the man who started it. <laughs> he didn't you know, start it. Really All right. Hate, now, do you, Rob, you do no, your play. Do you like, really hate Muscle Fest? <laughs> but you got to remember, productivity works both ways. What does that mean? It works both ways. It's a beautiful thing. How am I supposed to remember it? It's a beautiful thing, he says. Productivity. You know what he said? You know what he said? No. Productivity works both ways. Who said that? From a, from a video, <laughs> from a YouTube video. Uh, who said what, what? What video? Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, right? The construction workers are arguing. And, uh, oh, I got you. All right, all right. Got gotcha. you. Wow. You uh, watch YouTube videos about construction work. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually it's actually the slant. Y- y- it was actually on the slant radio page. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Go on, go on. Um, uh, Rob, do your plugs. No, that was it. July sixth. I want people to come to Muscle Fest. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got. The uh, fifteenth stand up and why bringer show and we have the jazz club. Uh, what what, what is the name of the fucking place? What's going you gotta on? Play it again. You gotta play it again. Hey, ready for it? Ready for it? Miss that. What's going on? <laughs> Visit them online, ladies. At Nick Talelli. Boy, did I miss that. What's <laughs> <on>? <laughs> <laughs> one more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> what did he take? So let's do it here with Nikki Boy, Nikki Talelli. Visit him online, ladies, at <laughs> Nick Talelli. Boy, did I miss that. <laughs> wait, 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 play it again, play it again, play it again. It's Tilly. Play it again. Wait, hold on. Play it to get, get to where I bought I missed that. Nick, Nick it's your dad. I'm home. online, ladies. Hey, Nick. Nick Talelli. Boy, did I miss that. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again, do it again. Ladies, Nick. Hey Nick, Hello. your jokes are really funny. <laughs> Why did you delete your post on the O A subreddit? John Doe. <laughs> Two dislikes. One guy called you racist wop. <laughs> he put this video on the Open Anthony subreddit after we did this um, trolling of the bowling alley back in January that we cannot talk about. Uh, but he and uh, one of the redditors pointed out one of the reviews that Nick Tolelli wrote on the Reddit and they were like this one's really funny so Nick Tolelli took the opportunity to go on the open end of the subreddit a sneaky little shit and try to capitalize on the fandom that he was getting <laughs> and he decided to put this video on there and it's like the most racist like video Here's the video. Hang on. What's going on, Nick? How are we live from Studio 6B? Happy to be back. Happy to be tuned to Lely's Takes. Now, to catch you guys up, okay? Um, an alleged felon in Nassau County named M- Miguel Angel Correa <laughs> Diaz told the judge life in lockup is unbearable, and he pled with the court to improve his jail conditions. Yeah, this yeah. is a guy who's currently on trial for drug trafficking and being associated as a kingpin for the well-known gang MS-13. And, you know, they're known for their, you know, aristocratic life. Style, right? <laughs> <laughs> How many times? So racist. <laughs> oh man, I love that little man. We love Nick Tolley, man. Uh, well, he'll, he'll be back on soon. He'll be back on. Ferg, did you do your plugs? When's CBJ? Oh yeah. Um, Come on, get back on here. <laughs> CBJ is Friday the twenty eighth at Comic Book Jones. Um, 
And no, I was going to plug the, the, we have the jazz. I, I keep forgetting about the jazz. Oh, July 13th? 14th, July 13th, 14th. 14th. July 14th, we have, we have actually the racist WAP show. And then we have, <laughs> <laughs> then we have. Yeah, it's not airing us until uh, <laughs> <laughs> we do his show. <laughs> no, no, we I have Big Tololi show at the Bowery. And then we have uh, the Bonafide, was it the Bonafide uh, Jazz Club, right? Uh, mm-hmm. and we have that. And I want to stand up and why that's the Bringer show too mm-hmm. for the 15th. Uh, your boy's trying to get past, so... <laughs> we love to love you. Uh, yeah, you know, send your mothers, your fathers, your daughters, right. whatever. Everybody, zombie. Wow. Zombie, last word, zombie. No, I, I have something to say. Oh, go on. I just want to thank Gas Digital for letting us do this. And the Creek in the Cave, thank you. Zombie, last words there. Oh, uh, please cancel this podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to our new boss, Luis J. Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the stuff you got, kid. Geico presents, yikes, another voicemail from your roommate. Sup, roomie? Hey, a pipe burst in the basement. It's completely flooded. Anyway, I called for someone to fix it, but in the meantime, I was thinking we could finally have that indoor pool party we've always wanted. I got some cool swan floaty things already going. Could you pick up some chips on your way home? Later. The Geico Insurance Agency could help keep your personal property protected. Like if your roommate isn't the brightest pool float in the flooded basement. Visit Geico.com to see how easy it is to switch and save on renter's insurance. The Internet can be your window to the world. Or an open door that lets cyber criminals in. Online theft, webcam spying, and identity fraud are all on the rise. But you can stay safe with Kaspersky Lab, the world's most awarded Internet security. Kaspersky protects your money, privacy, identity, and data with technology perfected over 20 years. So keep exploring. Kaspersky Lab will keep you safe online. Learn more at Kaspersky.com.